On the education front, the reality is starting to sink in for many Louisiana families as public school students will not be sitting inside their classrooms anytime soon. Again, the governor noting that today while hinting at how the state's learning will continue. Fox 44's Harrison Golden joins us live from the governor's emergency preparedness headquarters with the details and his remarks this afternoon. Harrison. Chad, good evening to the governor striking a mixed tone today, of course, addressing exactly what we were just talking about, the number of deaths, the 24-hour jump in reported deaths here in Louisiana, hitting a record today, passing that 1,000 mark overall here. But he's also talking about testing availabilities and the idea that Louisiana has tested more people per capita than any other state in the country has. And speaking of testing, we're talking about a different kind of testing. And the governor says yes, Students will still have to hit the books. For students, the idea of not going to school may spark thoughts of lazy days and summer vacation. But Governor John Bell Edwards says not so fast. School isn't canceled. People just won't be going to their campuses. The governor's stay at home order may be leaving schools closed in the physical sense, but now with the coronavirus outbreak still going, state K 12 leaders say online testing and video calls will keep students and teachers talking. There will still be distance learning and other things that are taking place because we're going to try to do as much as we can in very difficult circumstances to continue to educate. Our kids. Members of the state's board of elementary and secondary education admit online learning isn't always easy, especially for families struggling to afford web connections and computers. The board hopes federal dollars can lighten that load. There is a divide uh, in our state. We've talked about it with respect to um, uh, chronic health conditions and so forth, and 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 what what's happening with the health disparities. You know, it plays out in other ways too, and this is one of them. Other matters, meanwhile, will be up to the school districts for now, like when to start the next academic year, future class workloads, and summer education. Decisions still riding on how long this pandemic lasts. And the governor is set to share a podium tomorrow right inside the building behind me, the governor's office of emergency security, homeland security and emergency preparedness. He's going to be right back here tomorrow, this time at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and he will be sharing that podium with the state's acting education superintendent. Guys, 